In this video, I will show you how to render sections or elevations without using Illustrator. So the software that I will be using here is called Rayon Design. If you want to check it out, go ahead and click the first link below to sign up and try it yourself. So firstly, as you can see, all of this is super intuitive and it's all web-based and easy for you to access. And we're going to get started by using the wall tool, which is right here. Now the wall tool, as you can see, I already did a little bit of uh, outlines is pretty easy to use. We can just click once for the start and also another time for uh, basically ending where we want the wall placed and then another time for uh, the finishing and then we can click again and let's click done. So uh, this would be the wall tool. Now, if we select the walls and go here at the right, we can go ahead and uh, basically use the fill tool to change the way that this appears. We can also change its thickness to, for example, 30 centimeters or 20 centimeters or anything like that. And also the alignment uh, depending on where we actually drew the line of the wall. So uh, this is super easy. As you can see, I already did the outlines with the wall tool here in our section. Now we can also go ahead and draw kitchen cabinets pretty easily. We can use the we can use the polyline tool. We're gonna to take away the dash here at the stroke. That way it doesn't have any dashes. And we're gonna leave the stroke color at something like this. We can go upwards for 0.9 meters. And then we can go this way for about 2.1 meters. And now let's go downwards again. So this is basically how we would draw the polyline. And with just a few clicks, we will have something just like this. I'm not gonna show you the full process because it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just gonna use the polyline to uh, draw all the cabinets here at the kitchen. Now for these ones, which might seem a bit complicated, you might think that you have to draw all of them yourself. However, Rayon has a huge library of blocks here. So for example, we can even go and type in chair. We can press enter. Uh, or we can go at libraries here, we can go at chairs, and then here at chairs, you can choose whichever one you want. So for example, if I use uh, this one, I can just click once, and then this would be placed right here. However, in this example, we are in a section slash elevation view, and instead of having it as a top view, we can go ahead and click here, and we also have the option to have it as a side view, and also we have the option of having it as a front view. So this would be the front view as well. Let's just leave it as a side view for now. As you can see, this is super easy to use. Now also in this area, you can see that there are um, some kind of tiles and you do not have to basically go ahead and draw these with polylines. If you go here at fill, uh, this is what we use here. But in these two other options, you can also use textures. So it would be these patterns, which uh, look more realistic in a way they're, they're more um, actual real, they look like real world, they're not super technical. Um, and for example, we could choose something like this, right? Or we can go here at hash, which you can use this square hash, and you can also find all of these different options. Now, even for the fills here, you can change the backgrounds. For example, uh, we can use a beige background and we can go ahead and change the strokes to something like this, right? So this would be an option of how we would do it. Now we can also change the colors of the strokes. However, one other thing that we can do is we can also change the thickness. So this is at uh, the thinnest way that this can look in the canvas. However, we can go up to four millimeters, which is um, obviously just way too much. We can leave it even thicker, just like this, which doesn't look that well. Uh, but in case you need something like that specific, you can always go here at the properties and change that. Cool, so now that I've added some more stuff in this elevation, I'm gonna show you exactly how we can annotate stuff in case we need to basically clarify something for contractors, for clients or anything like that. So the annotation tool is right here. You can use this uh, leader icon here at the bottom. You can click once for the angle and then basically what you want to type, which would be, for example, a uh, cabinet. I'm just randomly uh, choosing this right now. We can leave it as a cabinet and then you can choose the color of uh, the written words, uh, basically the stroke of the leader and then also the arrow. We can leave it as a dot, basically a circle or um, just an arrow the same way that it was before. Now, same way and same thing we can do also for dimensions. So if you go here at dimensions, we can click once. And then what I would also recommend is if you click here at chain dimensions, what you can basically do is you can go and click uh, once right here, 
from the wall, let's say to this cabinet uh, once, and then another time to this cabinet and we can send uh, and we can set all of these on uh, the same parallel and maybe also the thickness of the wall just like this we can press done now we can select this dimension line and we can also change the uh, points the starting and ending points of the dimension line we can leave these angled we can also change how large they appear so for example so let's do 0 0.5 uh, so we can leave it at something like this and then obviously we can also change the color of the text or anything like that if you want to make them red and have them a bit more popped out if this is something super important. So I went ahead and added all of the annotations here. Um, that way uh, you basically don't follow a repetitive process, but basically use the same tools that I showed you up until now. Now, one thing that we can do if you want to add even more depth here is that we can also add some sort of shadows here. So for example, for this cabinet, if you wanted to add a shadow here, we can just add a polyline for something like this. And then let's add a fill. Uh, let's make this uh, obviously darker. And then we can also lower the opacity. And one thing for the shadows that you have to always remember is it doesn't need to have a stroke. So for example, this would be one shadow. And then I can go ahead and add this for every single one of these. All right, so now let's say that you drew your full elevation uh, slash section. Now what you need to do is you want to export it. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. So what we'll do is we will select the view. So for example, this will be the view here. And then we can also on top of it, add a page. So for example, something like this. And the page here, we can set the format. So let's leave this as an A4. Uh, and then we could go here at the pages section. And then this page, we could probably go ahead and export it. However, one more thing that uh, Rayon offers, which is pretty cool, is if you go to title blocks, you can see that there are a bunch of uh, ready to use templates. So in this instance, we can basically import something like this. Uh, and then and then increase it in size right so here you could add all the details for the project uh, your firm name or um, the legend or anything like that uh, the north icon obviously depending on the project and then once you add all of these pre-made and easy to do for you you can just export this either as a pdf or as a png so this is how you can create aesthetically pleasing sections or elevations for your projects by using Rayon Design. Once again, if you wanna go ahead and test it out for yourself, go ahead and click the first link below to sign up today.